Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into an important topic, emergency chain pulling in trains. We all know emergencies can happen anytime during railway travel, and it's crucial to know what to do in such situations. So, let's get started. Let's understand how the air brake system in trains works. This system is essential for the safe operation of trains. It uses compressed air to apply and release brakes. The main components include the brake pipe, auxiliary reservoir, brake cylinder, and control valve, distribution valve and feed pipe. The brake pipe runs along the length of the train, maintaining a steady pressure of 5 kilometers. The auxiliary reservoir stores compressed air, which is used to activate the brakes. Under normal conditions, the control valve keeps the brakes released by maintaining the pressure in the brake pipe at 5 kg per centimeter square. When the loco pilot needs to apply the brakes, the pressure in the brake pipe is reduced. The distribution valve senses this reduction and allows air from the auxiliary reservoir to flow into the brake cylinder. This increased pressure in the brake cylinder pushes the brake shoes against the wheels, slowing down the train. Now, what happens when you pull the emergency chain? Pulling the chain opens a port in the pipeline of the particular coach, causing a drop in air pressure. This drop is detected by the control valve, which then activates the brakes in the same way as a normal braking operation. The sharp whistle sound you hear when the chain is pulled is caused by air escaping through the port. This sound continues until the assistant loco pilot walks alongside the train, identifies the sound, and resets the switch, allowing the pressure to regain. But what happens if the loco pilot needs to override the emergency brake? This can only be done in limited circumstances. Historically, during decoid attacks, loco pilots were instructed to override the brakes. Nowadays, if they do so, they must be accountable to higher authorities. As mentioned earlier, the whistle sound helps the Railway Protection Force RPF, quickly identify which coach the chain was pulled from. This, along with emergency flashes on the coach, guides the guard, assistant driver and RPF to the exact coach. So, when is it acceptable to pull the chain? Some valid reasons include a fellow passenger falling from the train, a fire, a family member left behind, medical emergencies, and safety emergencies like robbery or decoit raids. Remember, pulling the chain can also lead to physical damage if the train is traveling at high speed, potentially causing a derailment or a chain reaction of delays. I hope this video answered all your questions about emergency chain pulling and how the air brake system works in trains. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Stay safe and happy travels.